Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California and this noisy room. I'm going to apologize about the audio quality, first off. Um, we've got construction going on over there, that way. Um, they've had this hammer drill running all morning long. Sounds like a kitten from hell purring in there. Um, so that's going to be going the whole time. Um, I thought, well, maybe I should go get my microphone. And, you know, we try to make this as real as possible. Everything's unscripted. Everything just comes out of my head as, after I turn the, the uh, camera on. And I got a new phone, so I'm hoping the audio and video quality is going to be okay. Um, next time in a noisy environment, I'll try my, my microphone. But we're going to go with this for today. And what are we doing today? Well, what I am doing this week, mostly, and I'm doing it over and over and over again, is uh, setting up my APs to uh, connect to my uh, wireless controller. So I'm just gonna walk you through the process of what I'm doing. Um, basically, five APs at a time, because that's how many comes in a box. Um, I'm just plugging them in and authorizing them. Uh, so I thought I'd just walk you guys through the process of what I do. So first things first, what I do, let's get up and go over here and um, show you this. There's one pallet. There's another pallet. And there's the APs that we've completed so far. So all of those have been uh, set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab into the box, take it over there to my work table, and uh, we'll unbox it from there. So let me set you down over here, let me go get the box, and then I will be right back. I'll put you there. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing when I get back here. Looks like it's not bad. Not as young as I think I am. Okay. Box of 18, there's five of them per box. No, this is not a switch blade. That would be illegal. This is a very good knife flipper. Alright. Nice piece of cardboard I'm going to put here. Our engineer guys like to use them. They use them to make templates. i got to remember to talk in my outside voice so you guys can hear me. Alright, I'm gonna grab the APs out of here. Very nice, tight fit. Here's the box. Open it up. First thing I gotta do is get all the packaging off the AP. Basically a piece of plastic and a, an informative brochure. And then what I do basically take the AP and I twist it around, grab a, a network cable from my little switch here, which I'll show you in a second. Plug it in, set it back down, and I'll leave that little wire hanging out right there. Right there. Close the box, sort of, but I leave that little wire hanging out right there. Grab another box. Stack on top of that box. It's going to do the same thing. Come to the shore. Check the packaging. The AP. Plug it in. Close the box. Get another box. Packaging. 
fascinating, isn't it? Makes for great video. But we're going to go through the whole process. It means this video is going to be about 20 minutes. So that's how long it takes to authorize all these APs. Let me move you back just a little bit there so you can see me. See me ish, see my belly. Um, that's my CTV right there. Plug it in. So as I'm plugging in each one of these APs, they are getting on the network and they are going out to the internet and they are checking into Extreme's uh, Extreme Cloud IQ website. Once they get there, since I have already imported all these to that website, once they get there, they, uh, they get their initial information. So they're going to get, you know, territory info. Let's go this way real quick. Real live basura tossing. All right. So, uh, as I was saying, once they're plugged in, you're going to see it's got a red light. Hopefully you can see that. And they're going out to the website and checking in. The red light means that they're not configured yet and they're looking for info. Go out there, um, regulatory information, geographic information gets written into them. And another piece of crucial info gets written to them. Because as I imported each one of these by serial number, um, I also told it, I want you to convert the OS of these to a wing, and here's the parent controller. Gave it the IP address of my two controllers. So it gets that written into it as well. So these are universal, they can run wing, and one other OS, I don't remember what it is, because I don't use that wireless, so extreme guys will happily jump in and, and supply that info. Um, so it can run one of two wireless operating systems. We use Wing. Um, so it tells it that. Once it tells it that, then this thing's got to reboot, reconfigure itself for the Wing operating system, then grab those IPs and start looking for the controller. Once it finds my controller, let's see if it's doing it yet. It's not doing it yet. So, oh, I got to turn auto refresh on. Let me refresh. I'll show you this. Yeah, they're still not doing it yet. So I'll check again in just a second or two as I keep talking. So once it checks into the controller, controller tells it, hey, you don't have the latest firmware. Let's do a firmware upgrade. And then it upgrades the firmware, reboots again, and then it comes online with this controller. So that's the process we're going through right now. And the entire process from beginning to end, watching, nope, nothing yet, it takes about 20 minutes for five of them. It takes about 12 or 15 minutes for, for one. So, yeah, I try to do as many as I can at a time just to maximize my time sitting here. So while we're waiting for these, I'll give you an update on the uh, that uh, my last video when I talked about us having to abandon ship. So no, we, we do not have to abandon ship as it turns out. That was a little, uh, a little bit of an overreaction on the part of our engineering department. Um, so the deal was, it's, it's right back the way it was before the pandemic. It's just no, no overnight patients can be there. We may eventually have to move out of that building, but it's not gonna be at the end of the month. It's not gonna be anytime soon. Um, so just no patience, that's it. Um, the office workers can stay in there. Biomed guys can stay in there. 
A few of you picked up on the fact that moving a biomed department wouldn't be easy. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys have some clue. Um, the rest of you, it is chock full of stuff. I mean, spare parts, equipment, equipment being repaired, you know, maintenance tools. I mean, it's just, it makes, it makes the MDF here look clean. So, uh, yeah, there's, it's going to take them a while to, uh, get that all ready to go. So, so that's not going to be an issue after all. Trying to think. Um, some other stuff going on today, not too much. Um, we're uh, making some changes to some uh, nat rules on our firewall. My uh, my boss is going to do that. He invited me uh, to a meeting to just observe what he's going to do, so somebody besides him knows what happened, which is cool. Um, and otherwise. This week is mostly going to be this stuff over and over and over again. Sorry, I keep scratching my nose because my allergies are just killing me. Allergies are crazy right now. So we are still waiting for these guys to get checked in to my controller and start upgrading. They are just not there yet. So, like I said, it literally takes that long. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I need to update you guys on as far as what's going on? Um, we do have a DR circuit that, we, that we're putting in for a uh, clinic that uh, wants to have a backup circuit to us. They get to us over the WAN. The actual clinic is here on site, but they go out over the WAN to get to us through their headquarters, which is across town. Since they are here, um, if the WAN goes down, they want to be able to use our circuits to, to keep getting on the internet and get to uh, get to Cerner. So we've had a direct fiber run over to here, and I did made a previous video about that. Well, we've engaged professional services, so they're going to take a look come up with a design, come up with a plan, and uh, we're just gonna have them help us out with that. All right, so these are checking in now. Refresh, here we go. You can see, uh, oh, there's, make sure I can, you can see what I'm seeing. There we go. So we've got two of them are checked in, are starting to check in, and they're in the process of upgrading. This little blue status thing means upgrade in progress. If it's green, it means it's in service, the controller can see it. If it's red, it says critical, but it basically means not in service. So, can't see the uh, AP, the controller cannot see the AP. So we got two of them, so there's three. We gotta wait for all five of them to upgrade. And what I've found is that four of them will upgrade at a time. And then, after they're all done, then the fifth one will start upgrading and then it'll reboot. So that just takes some time. So, uh, I don't think what else to talk about. Nothing. So I'm going to pause this while we wait for this to finish and then I will update you on when it's done. Well, I'm going to have to get used to this new phone. It won't let me pause as long as the old phone did, so... I had paused the last video, and it timed out and stopped. So, uh, now I'm going to have to splice this together, and I hate doing that. Anyway, we're still waiting. Um, four of them are done. As you can see there, there's... One, two, three, four have completed. Got the uh, green light. You can tell they're the new ones because they haven't been named yet. This comes up with its serial number. And I am waiting for this other one to start upgrading. It is taking its sweet time. So we'll just let it go. And uh, I'll catch up to you whenever it's done. Okay, so this last one apparently wasn't showing up in 
stream cloud. So it didn't know that it existed. So it was trying to just adopt it as a, uh, as a local controller. So I went to extreme cloud and told it, okay, when this thing shows up, turn it into a wing and send it to my local controller. So there it is right here. And as uh, soon as it um, reboots, hopefully it'll join my controller. This is the only one that's done that, so <laughs> good thing you guys were here to witness this. Okay, I'm admitting defeat on this one for now. I'm uh, probably going to have to call it stream. Um, this top guy just does not want to check in. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is just delete it from Extreme IQ and start all over again. And, uh, yeah, we're going to move on with the others. I'll come back to this one later. So moving on with the rest of it, what I would normally do is move set this one aside and leave it I'm doing its thing there for now. So what I would normally do is just open these guys up. Already all set up, I'll just unplug it. Box it up. Put it in the box. I'll do the next one. Plug it. Box it back up. go. I'll get all these guys put away. Back in this box. Then I mark them all as complete. By doing the following. Let's take the Sharpie. Sharpie. Box. Done, 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 done. Not done. So I'm not going to mark this. Normally I just put a check mark on the whole outside of the box just to mark that it's done. But this one's not done. So I'm going to have to go back and revisit this one and see what in the heck is going on. Yeah, it still hasn't shown up. So. All right, well. <laughs> That's, that's real life, folks. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work as perfectly as you'd hope. So I'm going to continue working on this. I'll make a, make a, maybe a midweek short to let you guys know how this one went. So that's all I got for this week, guys. If you like what you saw, click the notification button. Click the uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions or any suggestions. Is there a better way to do this? Probably. This is just the way I, I don't get confused. So, as always, guys, we'll see you next week. God bless. Okay. I'm so happy to be able to finish this video off. Sorry about this noise here. I'm in a I'm in a Zoom meeting at the moment, but just wanted to point this out. This thing is working. Let me, uh, let me cover up this stuff again. And again, sorry okay, so about the uh, the noise. Slow, if it's not successful today, but hopefully. But this is. guy right here. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll just have to. Hang see on a second. Let me mute these people. This guy right here. That guy. That's what I was waiting for. So what ended up what I had to do. All right, extreme close up. What I had to do was go into Extreme Cloud IQ, unmanage it, because somehow it ended up as managed. Unmanage it, delete it, and I waited a few minutes for good measure, and then just imported it back in, the same way I did all the others, and it worked that time. So, uh, all is good, it's there. Hopefully we won't have too many more of those, because uh, that was a pain. So, anyway, wanted to give that real quick uh, quick shout out that it is it's over there it's finally working
We'll catch you guys later.